Hi guys, my name is Tommy and this is Ginny. Ginny is from New Zealand company called Sirp and it's motion controller for any camera but it's best for DSLR. Is Ginny really a Ginny? Let's check it out. Comes with two extensions for linear and panning movements, cable to connect your camera, two rope clamps with straps and DC adapter with four different extensions for wall plugs. Ginny weights 3.3 pounds or in metric 1.5 kilos. It has 3 8 standard thread for tripod heads. On the left side Genie has 3 connectors, one is for your camera, in the middle is USB connection port and the last one is interface port. On the back you have quick release system to attach and detach Genie from extensions. What I really like about Genie is versatility and multi-purpose use. You can mount it on tripod, on dolly, on slider, custom-made platforms that go over canyons, over rivers, trees, buildings. You can even make turntables. To mount Genie on one quarter thread you need adapter to convert it to three eighths. Make sure to tighten up extension to dolly so it doesn't fall or move. And when you are attaching Genie, make sure that security lock is completely black. On display it shows time and distance current values. And guys, this is very important, make sure that Genie stops before it gets to the end of the rope system. No matter if it's on a dolly or slider or any platform, it should stop before it gets till the end. Great thing if you are into video is that while Genie is moving your camera, you can work on other things like focus and panning. Genie is very strong and it can lift your camera lens, video head vertically on the slider. Enjoy a couple of behind scenes and video shots made all by Genie in video and time lapse mode. After shots I will go through pros and cons. Enjoy! So let's talk about Genie pros and cons. I'll start with cons. Noise, it's only important for video. Menu structure. In advanced settings you have option that Genie starts with some delay and it, what it does after it's finished. Power off, return to home, etc. And for those settings you need to go out and then choose preset for which you want to use those settings. It's not so complicated but it's not in simple menu. It could be just one more, let's call it link to advanced settings. That's it. And the last thing, it's glossy display under sun, it, it's not easy to read from display. Pros. Build quality. 
which is sturdy and good you have rubber on top ease of use Genie is pretty simple and straightforward to use two extensions battery life let me just say that I, I didn't have any issues with it but if you use Genie only for vertical slides battery life will last a bit less because it uses more strength more battery motor strength is amazing you should be careful that you don't go over the edge as I mentioned before because of that strength it can break advanced options HDR bulb ramping return to home auto start etc just to mention for auto start option when genie starts after a certain amount of time that your video should start before genie starts to move and you should have some controller or magic lantern on your camera so it starts before movement versatility you can mount it on anything as i explained in video and support which is amazing great i always wondered about sliding effect in time lapses and now i got my answer genie's device that can do it perfectly so you can read more about settings and setups in article on canon5dtips.com site you can check link below in description and that's it guys enjoy in nature while genie does all work See ya till next review.